Okay, these notes are half-life notes. Half-life is the time it takes for one half of a radioactive material to decay. Carbon-14, for example, has a half-life of 5,730 years. This means that if you have a 100 gram sample in 5,730 years, you're only going to have 50 grams left. So let's try an example. A fossil is found by a group of scientists and needs to be dated. After using carbon-14 to date the fossil, it was found to contain 0.61 grams of carbon-14. It was calculated to originally have 39.04 grams of carbon-14 in the fossil. How old is this fossil? Okay. So let's see if I can get my pen working. Whoops, don't want a marker. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so we want to take 39.04. Now, we're going to see how many half-lives it takes to get from there all the way to 6 0.61. So we're going to divide by 2 each time because, you know, 1 half is dividing by 2. So, but I like to draw arrows. So we draw the arrow. I'm going to put the divide by 2. And if we divide by 2 the first time, we get 19.52. Ooh. 0.52. Okay. Now we're going to do one more time. We're going to divide by 2. And we're going to get 9.76. Again, we're going to divide by 2 because we're not quite at the 0.61 yet. And we get 4.88. Okay, we're going to divide by 2 again. And we get 2.44. Divide by 2 again. We get 1.22, divide by 2 again, and we get 0 0.61 grams. Okay, so we now have what we ended with. Okay, so how many half-lives did we go through? Well, we went through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, because we divided by 2 six times. So now we're going to take the half-life, which is 400 and, or 4,730 years, and we're going to multiply it by 6 to get 34,380 years. So that's how old the fossil is. Pretty easy, right? So that's what you do when you're, at, when you're trying to find how old the fossil is. Let's try another one. Okay, so radon has a half-life of 3.8 days. After 15.2 days, 10.2 grams of the sample remains. What was the mass of the original sample? Well, now at this point in time, we actually have to figure out how many half-lives it went through, but a different way. So, because we have the half-life and we know the length of time. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna take 15.2 and we're gonna divide it by 3.8. So you're gonna take the total time, divide it by the half-life, or yeah, the half-life, and that gives me four. So that means it went through four half-lives to get down to 10.2. Well, since we have the ending amount and we don't have the beginning amount, we got to go backwards. So we're not going to divide by two, but we're going to multiply by two. But we're going to do it four times because we know it went through four half-lives. So we're going to take 10.2 and multiply it. Here, I'll put an arrow. Multiply it by two and we get 20.4. Then once again, we're gonna multiply by two and we're gonna get 40.8. And then we're gonna multiply by two again and we get 81.6 grams. One more time, this is the fourth time, we're gonna multiply by two and we get 163.2 grams. That's how much of the original sample there was. So, cause, it, and then if you don't, if you, you know, if you're having trouble thinking, okay, well, am I right? Well, now if you divide two, four times, you should get, to go from 163.2 down to 10.2. Okay. Let's try a different one now. Okay. So six cobalt 60 has a half-life of 5.3 years. If a pellet that contains 464 grams of cobalt 60 is put in storage for 26.5 years, how much of the sample should be left? Okay, so we have to figure out the number of half-lives, and to do that, we're going to take the 26.5, because that's how long it was in storage, divided by 5.3, and 
and that's five. So it went through five half-lives. Okay, so now we're going to make the sample go through five half-lives because the 464 is the beginning. So 464 divided by 2 is 232. And then once again, divide by 2, and we get 58 right or 56 oh no sorry ah, i can't divide we're going to get 116 <laughs> grams now we divide that by two and that one we get 58 my brain was just going a little too far ahead divide it by two and we get 29 now let's see how many we've done so far one two three four so we need to do one more half life so we're going to divide it by two one more time and we get 14.5 grams. So that's how much of the sample should be left. Okay, one more to go. Okay, so the half-life of germanium 66 is 2.5 hours. If a 64 gram sample is left untouched for several hours, 20 grams or 2.0 grams is left. How long was it left untouched? Now, really, this is kind of like how old because you're asking how old the sample of germanium 66 is. So we need to know how long it was left untouched. So we're going to do it exactly the same way as we did the first example. So first we're going to find out how many half-lives. So we're going to go from 64 grams to 2.0 grams. So we're going to take 64 and divide it by 2. Oops, my, that's not a very good arrow. Hang on. Okay, let's make a better arrow. Divide by 2, and we get 32 grams. That is a 3. Divide that by 2 again, and we get 16 grams. Divide it by 2, and we get 8 grams. Divide it by 2, and we get 4 grams. Divide it by 2, and we get 2 grams. Oops. There we go. So we went through one, two, three, oops, I put a two there, four, five half lives. So that means we're going to take 2.5 hours, times it by five, and we get 12.5 hours. So that's how long the sample wasn't touched. Pretty simple. Um, there is a way to figure out where you're going to be figuring out the half life, um, but I'll use that as a bonus. So if you want to try to do that let me know and i'll give you a sample problem and see if you can figure it out and if you can't don't worry because it would just be a bonus but that's it for now these are all the half-life notes bye